I'm assuming most of you sent this to me is you wanted an honest opinion on not only the price point, the ingredients, but the effectiveness of these products listed. Four simple products they state, coming in at $109. Should I buy these products? No. Primarily to do with the fact that the company presented themselves as truly vegan. However, the FDA required them to change their name as that was an inaccurate representation. Like for a part two, we're not done. Key ingredient right off the bat, bitter orange. Okay, well, for what skin types is this going to be effective and or detrimental? First of all, possibly safe when used topically. However, pregnancy, diabetes, high blood pressure, glaucoma, heart disease, and or irregular heartbeat, let alone surgery. And again, just touching on the key ingredient, bitter orange. Again, we're using WebMD for ease of search. Everybody knows what that is. Type it in and then you can go down the rabbit hole. Note how sensitive you are in sun. So sunblock, sunscreen. They don't sell sun. Okay, but do we really even need to move on to product two, seeing as the very first product's main ingredient makes you sensitive to the sun and this company doesn't even offer sunscreen? Like no protection from the very sensitivity that their product promoted. Why is there no protection? And you can go watch the video and screenshot yourselves for side-by-side -side comparisons on bums. Within a month's time of moles or beauty marks, as it appears to be, maybe that's all butt acne, I'm not sure, um, but it looks very blurred. <laughs> oh man, truly beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all should not be nude or doing sexual activity on TikTok. It is against community guidelines. To lightly exfoliate. It's soothing and gentle enough to Top three winter products I can't to lightly exfoliate. It's soothing and gentle enough to Top three winter products I can't